There we go. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Story Time with me, Miss Sheila. Today I brought you to a place that's called Mirabua and look at all the wildlife behind me. Hopefully you'll see the birds and the squirrels like going in the bird feeder too. So I thought, what an exciting place to read this story. And I even brought a little friend, a moose, because the story is about if you give a moose a muffin. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Giving a moose a muffin? Let's get into the story, okay? I'm gonna put my moose down there. Okay. I hope you're having a wonderful day, by the way. So here we go. If you give a moose a muffin. I give, if you give a moose a muffin, see? The little one's tossing the moose. I mean the muffin out to the moose. That squirrel is noisy. He'll want some jam to go with it. <gasps> Look, he's coming into the house. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. Yeah. Oh, there was a little birdie right there. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another and when they're all gone he'll ask you to make some more you have to go to the store to get some muffin mix he'll want to go with you <laughs> look at him he's standing like a human with with his um with his back legs when he opens the door and feels how chilly it is he'll ask to boil a sweater When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose and he'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing the button. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. Oh, look at the moose is threading and fixing the sweater. So he'll ask for some old socks and he'll make some sock puppets. When they're done, he'll, he'll, he'll want to do put on a puppet show. So look at he made a moose and he made a mouse. He'll need some cardboard and some paints. He's getting all into it. Then he'll ask you to make the scenery. Nice, he'll help help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch and put his ant, but his antlers will stick out. What a beautiful scenery, see? He made a bear. <laughs> this in the water with a bridge and a castle. And it looks like crocodiles or alligators over there. So we'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween and he'll try it on and shout Boo! it'll scare him so much he'll knock over the paints uh oh he made a mess so he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess then he'll ask for some soap to wash it he'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry well at least he's a good moose cleaning up his mess He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. And when he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Uh oh Then seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. And he'll probably ask for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, guess what he's gonna want now? He'll want a muffin to go with it. <laughs> and then you have to do the whole thing all over again. I hope you enjoyed story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day and go out and explore. And hopefully you'll be blessed to see all the birds and the squirrels like I am right now. Take care. Bye.